couple months ago, I had a Jehovah's Witness come over and sit on my couch and talk to me for a couple hours. And this is actually my oldest brother. I didn't see him or talk to him, write him or anything in eight or nine years. And in a lot of that time, I was not disassociated yet. And the reason he came over is because I emailed him. He was living in the Dominican Republic. And I saw in an ad in the paper this painting company, Painting and Janitorial. And it had his first name and sons on it, Painting and Janitorial. And I saw the email address. I've never saw the email address before, but I saw it on the card, his advertisement. And I knew it was my brother because it had JW in it. So I put the uh, pieces together and I realized, yeah, that's, that's obviously my brother. And uh, so I just decided to email him, a funny email, and I wrote him. And I said to him that I needed uh, one wall in my bathroom painted behind the toilet. And I thought that would make him laugh. And I said there would be three tenants sharing this bathroom. And sure enough, he wrote me back that same day. And he said he needed to see me ASAP. And I was like, oh, okay, I wonder what's going on. Maybe something horrible happened. So I... Uh, emailed him back and I said, yeah, for sure. And we got together. I gave him my phone number and we made a time and he came over. And I thought it was going to be just my brother wanting to see me and to tell me some news about the family, his family, or whatever. I thought it would just be a loving visit which it was, he came over because he does love me. And that's, you know, that's, I, I love him for that. I love him more for that. But the main reason he came over was to talk about, you know what, his religion. And he will stand by it until he dies, just like the rest of my family. And... I told him that I disassociated myself for a reason. And uh, I said to him that it took me a couple years to come up with that decision because I did a lot of research and it wasn't just an overnight decision because that's the reason why he came. It was to find out if I would come back. And he gave me this brochure from the watchtower called Return to Jehovah. And he thought that I was disgruntled. He thought that I was hurt by some elders or somebody. I became stumbled. And I had to reassure him and say, no, it was because I did my research. It has nothing to do with men that did anything to me. It had to do with the Watchtower Society and their literature that they printed, their doctrines, everything included in that aspect. The whole spiritual side, the whole, that whole side of their cult. And I said to him that I was disappointed in him because I made the decision to disassociate myself through a letter that they would read in the congregation to tell everybody that I disassociate myself from the organization. And I said to him, I'm really disappointed that you came here expecting me to come back. And on top of that, you gave me this 
return to Jehovah brochure. And so we talked about uh, various subjects. And I told him I did see this return to Jehovah brochure online, and I kind of had a good chuckle at it. And he wanted to know if I was an apostate. And I said, yes, yes, I am. I'm a very big apostate. And that implanted into his brain a little bit more that I will not be coming back to their cult. So anyway, near the end, we told each other that we loved each other and we hugged and we both made it clear to each other that we will not be having contact with each other. That's just how it is. When you leave a cult, there are other cults that do the same type of shunning, which I've learned in the past. And Jehovah's Witnesses, they the, of the Watchtower Society, they are one of the major cults that does the absolute shunning. It's all on their part. I told my brother that he is welcome here anytime. If he wants to confide in me anytime, he is welcome. And I will accept him willingly. No problem. It doesn't matter what it is. But we in we decided that we will respect each other's wishes. I told him that I do not want any Jehovah's Witnesses knowing my address. I do not want them knocking on my door to see if I want to come back. Like it's an annual call that they make. And my brother is an elder, so he felt that it was his right to come do that. And I told him, I don't want elders coming here. I said, you can go back to the scriptures where it says that you're yes mean yes and your no mean no and I've made that decision and my answer is final I disassociated myself don't come back with your religion don't come back with your cult I just want to say that I do love my brother very much for doing this and in fact, he did help me with one last thing I requested of him. And he did that, even though we both decided that we would not have any communication. He did that one final thing for me. And then the last thing he wrote was okay, because I said, well, this will be it. And so, eight or nine years of no speaking, he came over. We talked. He wanted to see if I wanted to come back to the cult. I said, no, I'm not coming back. And then we said goodbye. So we're just back to square one again with not communicating. But if my brother, you, if you ever watch this, just remember you're always welcome back anytime to be my brother and if you decide to leave the cult which I don't think you ever will I will be here and I will accept you without any hesitation so this is the reason why I have this brochure in this video here this uh, snapshot here that you're looking at He's the one that gave it to me, and I did a video, a very, very short video here, as you can see, 52 seconds long, and it's just the arrogance of the cult where they expect you to come back to them and say that you returned to Jehovah. Oh, I'm back with Jehovah now because I'm back with you guys, and you're changing your doctrine every two years with anything you name it they'll change it tomorrow oh jehovah he's just changed it because we, we thought we got new light it's their arrogance that drives me insane 
and I'm, I, I'm a happy person without this cult. It's actually, to tell you the truth, better to be completely cut off from them without that communication because I have my own life and I don't have the negative stress that they push out on you because that's what it is. It's just darkness pushing out on you. And if you can cut that off, you can completely have your own peaceful life and you can make your own decisions, you have your own free will, and it doesn't mean that you have to stop having faith in God, Jehovah, Yahweh, Jesus. It doesn't mean that that stops. It doesn't mean that you have to stop praying or reading the Bible. When you leave the watchtower, it means you leave the watchtower. So I had to make it very clear to my brother that I would not be returning ever, 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 ever again. So I just want to say to you, whoever's listening, that if somebody comes to you and you're disfellowshipped or disassociated or you walked away, you just have to tell them, like, you're disappointed in them because you made the decision on your own to leave. And you can tell them you don't want them to come back. Don't come back. If you want to go back, you will find your way to the Kingdom Hall. So I hope this helps.